serious? No way. Dude, that's awesome! Uh, Stu? Oh my. Someone's been busy. Your enjoyment pal asked if we wanted to live. This don't feel like living. Calm down, everybody. Everything's fine. Or, or going to be fine. Okay? This is unfortunate. My companions appear to have not appeared. Less than ideal, but faint heart never won fair maiden. <sighs> it would seem this facility's employees are uh, still on the job. Mother always wanted me to be a surgeon. <laughs> Oh, which is worse, the cold or the reanimate? Rigid waters is probably my number one priority, with the notable exception of ensuring that the reanimates do not devour me. This is just barbaric. Are thy scattered and broken amidst this frozen tundra? Like my own poor heart. Something ignited that reanimate. Is it some new variety of deadhead, as Misty might put it? up there. Someone or something. Go pick on someone your own size. Hint, still in your... Oh, feels a bit claustrophobic in here, but opening the doors helps. Suppose they used icebreakers to keep this dock accessible. Clearly the tourists stopped coming. <laughs> oh. My throwing arm, as they say, was never that good, but what the heck? Oh, 
Objections? This is now mine. Is the snow infused with 115? Is that why it killed them? Multitude of uses for dynamite around here. <laughs> Tells me I'm running out of ammo! Mm. I do this so frequently, I'm getting carpal tunnel syndrome. This is preferable to being cooped up in the lighthouse, but still cold as Jotunheim! Watch out, reanimates! I'm packing dynamite now! That's packing with an apostrophe. different than the other blue rocks around here. Set 
I don't know who the captain of this vessel was, but one thing is clear, he screwed up royally. Hello! Can you hear me? Nikolai Belinsky speaking. Do you copy? Greetings, Nikolai. I assume you're an ally of Stuart's psychic liaison? name, Tagarin. It's the name of a Russian demon. What? I've read a lot of mythology. Our the experiment is coming to me. Fast. Ammo. Fast. Ammo. What? It's not so much fluid as it is very much alive. Belinsky to team. Continue searching for components of a Garthen device. We are counting on you. It is nice to have some backup. Even nicer if he was actually here. Keep fighting good fight. A Garthen device is crucial. Man in Lighthouse will help obtain it. It's starting to dawn on me. This mission, it's the world off. depends on it! On you go, Frank Wheel. Reanimate with its own electromagnetic field. Well, the question remains what does the man in the lighthouse want this rock for? Stranger, good to know you're on Team Marlton! I have to someone who is trying to stop his game. Good sniper for you here. If I can use the reanimate office. Stop on flies!
A most expected outcome. Huh. These are not standard shipping containers. Not even remotely. Dare I surmise their cargo was alive? Or at least undead? Considering our precarious predicament, we should collect anything that could be repurposed. Energy Wisp seems rather at home down here, but it doesn't treat guests very nicely! Calling what happened to this cargo hold a containment breach seems somehow inadequate. So simple an idiot can use it. It helps explain Russman's fondness for shotguns. should be mounted on something big, heavy, and slow. Aging Russman! That mountain. But you know that already, don't you? Cadet Marlton of Star Command scores another kill. Every path I open up is one more escape route. Why I am 
Ah, oh, this is bringing back some difficult memories from middle school. They wore respirators in here. Wouldn't want to develop a case of blue lung. Should be a machine around here that imprints instructions. Ooh, 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 ooh. I get to punch another vintage card. It's hardware geek heaven. A into slot B. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Thank you. 
Today's the 14th of April, the year of our Lord, 1885. A day I will hold dear until my last. <sighs> I have done and spent 30 years of my life in Purgatory Point. My ma brought me out here when I was but 10 years young. She hoped to give us a chance at a new life. Here I predict with absolute certainty things will My continue friends, to go our way. Bravely, I have arranged a little gift for you inside vault. Destroy hell pigs and you will meet your uh, new ally. <laughs> Maybe a little scary at first, but well, you will see. Dr. Moralton's diabolical death ray! <laughs> I hope Misty didn't hear that. You see, Misty? I can inflict mass casualties with the best of them. A spirit resides inside music box. She is like a force of nature. Treat with respect. The scientists in me reels, but there is no denying the phonic energies I sense within this vessel. Do not be afraid. She fights for us now. Oh, whoo, I must be completely insane to do this. I want to wet my pants when this happens! Do they make shock colors for these things?
Speaking, this is probably my ideal weapon. Now, to keep from becoming another statistic, in a more just an equitable world, men with an arm strength deficit, like me, would always get an SMG. Something tells me I have a plethora of headshots in my future. If X is weight and Y is agility, this weapon is strictly lower right quadrant. Sorry, but it had to be said. Oh, 
has to be a safer way to get around. I predicted this outcome exactly three calculations ago. Another hypothesis proven accurate. These glasses belong to an icon. We walk in his footsteps. Walking forward versus directed energy weapon. I know which one I'd bet on. It makes no sense, but the snowballs shatter them. A few more hits like that, and I'll be taking the permafrost now! <laughs> um, Missy, <laughs> may I borrow some bullets, please? <laughs> A punch may look special, but all the glitters can sometimes get you killed.
be told, I think shotguns are a bit common for an intellect such as mine. Sniper rifles require a degree of inner calm and a placid, zen-like equanimity. None of which describes me, does it? Ah, the SMG. A quintessential lightweight chatterbox. Which is also what Stoolander once called me. If anyone wants to debate me, I'll let this baby do the talking. Fair warning. It is hard to argue with 900 rounds per minute. Oh, oh how many times have you absconded with my capital? I've lost count, and I can count pretty high! Kind of like a mailman. Maybe they'll go after him.
Right? I usually am. <laughs> I should invent a kill counter to memorialize moments like this one. Can't stay in this water long without becoming a molten sickle. medical attention. You'll be sorry if you need to work a computer or something and I'm dead. Just saying. Looks like I'd better put in some overtime. <laughs> This weapon has the perfect ratio of weight to firepower. The same can be said for Misty. Like the shotgun, the submachine gun trades output for accuracy. Ooh, the old quantity versus quality conundrum. I hope Misty didn't hear that. You were already mindless. Now you're headless. These are always effective at grabbing someone's attention. This is the type of gun that leaves me as quick on my feet as I am swift of mind. Well, I'm 
not one to boast, but maybe I should be. Hypothermia this is setting in. What if this were all just a soda company taste test? With zombies. Bigger may not always be better, but I'm willing to take my chances with this belt-fed beast. I'm really more into precision weapons, but as they say, nothing succeeds like excess. I had enough people laugh at me in grade school! <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Dismissed by the unworthy, the sniper rifle is the apex, nay, the zenith of lethal weapons. In a more just and equitable world, 
Men with an arm strength deficit, like me, would always get an SMG. The ballistic knife may sound silly, but it's deadly serious to whomever gets hit by it. <laughs> myself Marlton the Mighty! Fetch me their souls! Oh, here come our four-legged friends! Certain this is not FDA approved. <laughs> Killing you. <laughs> <laughs> 